No doubt your heart probably drops when you get a notification that your child's school is on lockdown or police are responding to a situation. Texas law requires school districts to have a system in place to let you know about those kinds of things. But as the News 4 I team's Jordan Elder explains, when parents show up during an emergency, which we see is often the case, that protocol is less regulated. I'm just concerned about the children. September 2022. I want my daughter out. I want all the students to be safe. Um, I'm, I'm worried. A shooting threat called into Jefferson High School. Parents arrived to check on their children. I'm sorry, where did you get that information? Getting closer and closer to the building. And then chaos unfolded. And that was the outcome that you saw out here, his parents being impatient, not going through the entire process that we have in place for that reunification. Texas law requires school districts to send you a notification when they're investigating violent activity. There are even templates the Texas Education Agency provides for districts to use. They stress that you should not go to the school, but as we know, that doesn't always work. And the law doesn't require districts to have a plan for if parents do show up. I figured we could get better information if I was here. And then again, if something happens, I'm close to take care of my family. This was the scene in January of this year as police investigated a threat in Bernie ISD. Much more calm, but parents still nervous for their kids. It just makes it more uh, prevalent that we sometimes don't have as much communication as what, what we need to have. Dennis Porter was a school resource officer before he became a security consultant. He says prepping officers and having a plan for when parents arrive is crucial. The more communication you have, the better. I think parents have to develop a trust, if you will, with the police departments and the school districts. All the local districts we spoke to say they do have a communication plan for these situations and use that as a way to tell parents to not come to campus. Northeast tells us they want investigators to have complete focus when there's a threat, so parents typically aren't allowed on campus. Northside says if parents do show up, it's handled by district police on a case-by-case -case basis. Somerset tells us that like many districts across the state, they use the standard response protocol, which includes a reunification plan for emergencies. That resource is free to use, but not required. Porter says maybe something like that should be. If you have policies and stuff in place, I think it, it would as greatly assist with, with a lot of those situations. For the News 4i team, I'm Jordan Elder. And to learn what the state requires districts tell you during a crisis situation, be sure to look for this story on our website, news4sa.com. You go to work to teach. You go to work to nurture students. You don't go to work to be attacked daily.